Mr. Johns. Welcome back to Railroads Online. I really have just played this for one day, uh, maybe two, a little bit on one day, and then pretty hardcore, about a half a day, um, to kind of set everything up that I wanted to set up. The only thing that I want to work on today, and the only goal for this episode is this. So I have purchased um, now two cars for transporting so these ones with the stake sticking up will transport the finished wood products right the beams and the lumber and then this is a cheaper version of the uh logging car it's a hundred dollars cheaper so remember these are probably eighteen hundred dollars sorry eighteen hundred prices like so if you think two hundred dollars for a flat car is cheap well this is the 1800 so and then here's the upgraded car that I bought yesterday and this one will transport um, both logs and uh, I think steel pipes or something steel I don't know I don't know something more um, so that will come in handy down the road um, so I basically have four cars I don't know with old Betsy if she'll be able to handle it she's got three pushing and then one behind and that's not exactly how I wanted to do it but just the convenience of moving her around and hooking all those up is a lot of work so a lot like real railroad real rail yard so so far I think if you're a train person you'll like this game if you're not necessarily a train person but you're like a uh, just a gamer that wants to like a simulation fan uh, th there's not a whole lot to this and I hope that after a year and a half I mean this is beautiful work but I hope they have bigger plans so far it just looks like there's maybe three or four challenges to set up like a transport system to move uh, products and goods um, so you know uh, that, that maybe is about a, a week's worth of play time after that I don't really know Honestly, uh, other than maybe playing around with some big bridges and some things like that just for fun, but I think pretty much lose interest quickly uh, after that. So I hope that, I mean, the fact that people have been playing this for a year and a half, I don't know what there, uh, what there else is to do. So what I want to do is I don't really necessarily want to have to go into the rail yard and switch and then come up here to unload and then go back. It makes a lot more sense just to swing through this um, freight depot on my way back. So I think the goal before I start today's run is to um, basically just make a little uh, siding where I can, uh, something like that. Oh, you know, and it lets you know if, you're, if, it, if, if it's not happy, uh, it doesn't tell you, wouldn't that be nice? So developers, note to developers, like it, uh, it just won't click if, boop, if it's, if, if, if something's not right, it doesn't tell you what's not right. And that would be nice, but, uh, you have to, I don't know, just try different things, which is, which is quite frustrating. It could be the uh, grade isn't correct. It could be the height of the ballast isn't correct. You know, it could be any of those things uh, or none of those things, who knows? So you have to, if, you know what it does? It makes me really appreciate games like Red Dead Redemption 2, one and two, where like the gameplay is so rich and the storylines are so good. There's a lot going on in those games and a million things to do. Uh, and I think it makes me appreciate th those um, software companies that can do that and they must have way more at their disposal to make that happen, obviously. It makes me kind of wish a company like that was doing this and so I could... Um, maybe expect a really, really rich train game. So, all right, so I need to um, put in a switch here and I can't really do it, um, I don't think, 
without destroying some of that track, which I always hate to do because it works. It just works, boop, but just a section of it should be fine. And then we need a, uh, uh, probably need to come from this direction and we want a right switch. So this is the main line and then we want a right switch to go off to the right. So right switch right there. What, it, what are you doing so high up like that? Uh, there we go. Okay, now flip around. Yeah, whoa, that is not as far back as I need to go. As you can see, like I need to go back a ways because that switch needs to happen way back here, a ways. So, okay, so let's cruise through here. Some of these trees are looking pretty close. And I may end up coming right through. Oh, there's the rail is right there. So I shouldn't have to take those trees out. I can see the two rails from this view. Uh, and it is a ways back because it deletes it in sections that I built. So I might want to go forward just a little bit uh, before I... Um, before I add that. Uh, let's see. And by the way, if you hit star it changes the it calls it the grid i don't like that word it, it allows you to change the angle by percentages and so right now it's on one percent which means my every time i press a four or six it does a uh a more a, a more gradual curve which is awesome okay so now hopefully i'm far enough back to slap in a right switch Let's see how that looks. So let's hope I got. You can't curve in there too much. Uh, I probably should have gone back a little bit further. But let's see if we can just squeeze in a. Uh, um, that's just weird. That's probably pretty aggressive of a curve. Maybe. I mean, I'm coming in with a bunch of freight, so you probably need to be kind of careful. The curve should be almost zero. And my height is wrong, so I'm going to have to also increase my... There we go. Somewhere in here it should snap. I'm looking for a yellow connection like it says. I'm happy. Oh, right there. Bink. So let's, what was that? What was that? That, that's not normal. What did it do to my track? What is that? What is that? That's terrible. Um, I should have just been connecting. Hello. So that's terrible. I was so close there. Um, well, okay, so while I'm here, I did not like, I did not like how forced that was. So we're gonna head back. We're gonna go ahead and just make it the smoothest, most gradual, beautiful. Uh, yeah, look at that. Then you know I have got time to make these curves, and that's really what we're talking about. And I think if I can actually connect right here it will make the curve for me and you can see the ends that I'm talking about when you do a long track it curves kind of weird at the end but right in here should be nice and hopefully come on baby I'm a little high so let me drop my elevation right in here maybe or even here come on right there snap together no, 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 no. It does try to do some weird stuff. I just, I mean, right there should be, bink. And then it should have made it, yes. It should have made a pretty sweet curve. So that's awesome. And then I just need to go back and uh, reconnect this. 
and then I'm gonna head off and do a full run today. I am going, not gonna bore you um, with the driving time. I will speed it up and cut and cut pieces out. So it's just kind of a highlights of the trip. So the goal is uh, take all four cars, go up to the logging camp, pick up a load of lo logs, drop them off in the water at the sawmill, curve around the backside, pick up a load of lumber and a load of beams, um, head out of there and drop them off here at the freight depot. That's the goal and that is a complete circuit and we'll see uh, how it goes. It should be simple. Uh, and then it kind of goal number one for this game is finished. Now again, under a beta like this, I wish there was like a comp objectives like here's here's what you should accomplish and then it'll check it off but that would be something else I would hope the developers do later on is like as a new railroad manager uh, tycoon want to be um, here's the things you should accomplish to get to different levels now I am if I hit P again I am a level three um, what that means who knows I am running low on money I have a thousand one hundred and thirty two dollars after buying those carts um, what that means, you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. They need to work on that as well. It's such a beautiful game, but such a basic game that it just makes you, makes you a little worried that nothing's going to happen. Like this is the game. Like they're just going to roll it out with a few more little cards or something, some new trains and this is it. So. If so, I will quickly lose interest. Uh, and was it worth $34? Probably not. Feels like more like a $20 game if this is how it stays. So let's snap these guys together. Look at that, that's perfect. It should take it, bing, yes. So we are pretty much golden and now we're gonna run our route. I will talk less during this uh, video after this point because a lot of this will be sped up. We're going to make sure we have a, a, a full load of firewood. We might need it.
Okay, that wasn't so bad. Look at this. I think I can maybe unload both loads at the same dock, same time. Excellent. <clears throat> now the money went up a little bit. <laughs> not very much. You're not going to make a fortune this way at a couple hundred dollars uh, a run. But did get a little bit of experience about halfway to level four and accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. And that's it for the lumber run, which is really cool. Hopefully you go try it out yourself. Railroads online for now, Mr. Johns is out.